Welcome back to another DCS F14 tutorial. This time, we'll be going over the carry landing and takeoff, the thing that everybody wants to do on this plane. So, uh, prior knowledge, you need to have your landings down um, on the airfield, and you need to have your holding on speed um, during the airfield landings down, because it helps from here. Um, you also want to do some air to air refueling, you get used to holding that um, kind of that precise, precise um, area of the stick that you need to use, because it'll help you during your final uh, when you come to landing on the ball. And now that's out of the way, we can go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna try and keep this short and sweet. So about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, I'm gonna go over this pretty quickly. That way you can do it during experience. Um, if you do the quick mission, you can get this little chart too that tells you things. Um, and there are five sections to the landing, or four if you do it correctly. Number one is the initial, so you come in on the heading of the ship, also known as the BRC. Number two is the break turn, which is a 800 feet level turn, um, 180 degrees, at a 60 degree bank, at idle power. Um, and there's more to that, but I'll go over that in a second. Uh, number three is the downwind leg, which is, uh, this is when you should dirty up, which is basically just being in landing configuration, right? So you should have all your stuff down. And number four is the base and final turn. So that's just the turn to line up with the runway and land. And the number five I was talking about, which I was saying you shouldn't have to do this if you did it correctly, is the bull turn pattern. So if you're landing and you miss a wire, and you go off the end of the ramp, uh, what you have to do is you have to fly on, um, because the runway is faced about like 7 degrees or 9 degrees, something like that, um, off the ship's uh, heading. So it's 9 degrees off towards the left, right? So what you have to do is you have to go off the end of the deck, and then you have to turn back onto the ship's heading towards the right. Then you fly out for one mile, still in your landing configuration, um, and then you just come back around um, back to step number three, which is the downwind. So, um, just gonna explain this more in detail. So the initial, you should be at 400 to 350 knots, depending if you wanna be further or closer towards the ship. You generally would be going about 350 knots, but 400 is good for a beginner because it pushes you out further, which gives you more time to uh, practice your landing. Uh, so I'll do this in the kind of training way that most people would do this, not the actual landing way. I'll do it the second time. Uh, so you'll be coming 400 knots uh, at 800 feet with your hook down, your stabilizers on, and your wings fully back, right? So you want to be holding level at 400 knots. Basically, um, flying the heading of the ship but parallel to it by about 1.1 miles on the right of it right so you can actually look over and see if the deck is clear um number two you want to be going into the brake turn and you do this by holding a level turn at 800 feet using 60 degrees of bank with your power at idle your speed brake extended and just holding the level turn. During that level turn, you'll hit a few speeds, right? So at 300 knots, you want to be holding, uh, not, my bad. At 300 knots, you want to have your wings in auto, right? So the wings start coming forward automatically. At 280 knots, you want to have your gears down. At 225 knots, you want to have your wings, or your flaps down and your slats deployed, which automatically deploy with the flaps. And once you roll out, you want to have your DLC selected once the flaps are down, right? And during all those speeds, all the way to when the DLC are deployed, you want to be holding that 60 degree, 800 feet turn, right? And once you're on the reciprocal of the initial heading that you were on, then you can start descending to 600 feet um, on speed. Right, so I'm gonna be holding 600 feet on speed, which is about being 10 degrees 
10 degrees on the pitch ladder on speed will pretty much hold you level generally. If it doesn't, well then adjust for it. But uh, on the downwind, you want to be 600 feet and you want to uh, be dirtied up. So that mental checklist that we had to do in the break turn should be already set. Um, you should be coming a beam the ship, right? So to the right of the ship. Whenever you reach this little dome over here, right? You'll see it when I zoom in on the actual uh, landing. But once you see this little dome, that's the uh, beam point, right? Or the cross check of the actual landing. So you check your distance on the tech end, how far you are from the uh, ship at that point, and that's basically just a guideline to um, how much bank you need to have in the base turn, right? In the base turn, which is this turn right here where the plane is, you want to be doing around a 30 to 20 degrees of bank, depending on your um, distance in the beam point. Uh, and you want to be holding a 300 feet descent rate until you can see the ball, right? If you're too low, um, increase your increase your climb rate. Um, unless you're pretty far out still, well then you can keep holding your 300 feet per minute and maybe it'll start to go back up. Uh, but if you're too low, you generally wanna climb. If you're too high, uh, you wanna put your descent rate either on 700 or past 700. And when you're kind of near um, the correct glide slope, you want to switch uh, you want to switch from 300 feet per minute to 500 feet per minute once you visually can see the ball. All right? And that'll pretty much get you into that state of uh, final landing, right? So about 90 degrees, you should be about 450 feet. Once you're about lined up with the runway, you want to roll out. And like I said before, if you're too high, you want to get it to around 700 feet per minute. If you're too low, you want to climb. If you're around the speed, you want to get to 500. And once you're near the glide slope and you're at 500 feet per minute, go ahead and set it to 700 feet per minute. And that is the glide slope that you need to fly to um, land properly. So... You're going to forget most of that stuff, so we're just going to go ahead and do it quickly. That way you can see, and I'll call out my stuff. I'll also have my control indicators on. That way you can see what I'm doing, and I'll call it what I'm doing. So just a quick look at this. Again, right, going through all the steps. And now we can go ahead and do it. Right. So, same Boeing's fully back. Keep my speed at 400 since I'm doing the kind of training pattern instead of the real pattern. Friendlies, Hawkeye, 11 o'clock, I miles. gotta decrease my altitude to 800 feet. Doing smooth movements, that way I don't overcompensate for things. I'm at 400 knots, around 800 feet, just increasing it a bit more. The hook is down, stabilize your own. 800 feet. Alright, find the ship's heading. The deck is clear. Alright, just did our checklist. Look for um, one mile out before you do that brake turn. One mile out, 60 degrees of bank, holding level, throttles idle, speed brakes are out. Just holding that level turn until we get to 300 knots. 300 knots, we put our wing sweep to auto, gears down at 280. Flaps and DLC are deployed. You come out on a reciprocal heading. And we were just flying. We want to slow down to get on speed. We're 
too slow, so I'm going to put the DLC in, that way we can climb a bit. Alright, get level on speed. We're about 1.4 miles of beam, right? Going back to the reference I was talking about. Struggling a bit here to keep up. Alright, so my wingtip touched the front of the ship, the bow. My plane's pretty heavy, so it's kind of hard to control. Keeping my descent rate at uh, around 300 feet per minute. I'm pretty slow. I'm also low. I can tell because those needles at the top of this mission are telling me I'm too low. Alright, back to that 300 foot per minute descent rate. I'm crossing the wake of the ship, so I'm going to go ahead and put my descent rate to around 500. I'm also not really lined up with the runway. I'm gonna set, I'm gonna set my descent rate to 700 feet per minute. A little bit too high, so I hit the four wire. That's a four wire. That one uh, is a four wire. Alright, so I did everything we just talked about. I flew the ball. I was a little bit high though, and it didn't correct good enough, so I ended up hitting a four wire. Um, now that we landed, we can go ahead and go into the takeoff section. Alright, so once we're off the wires, Go ahead and line up with the catapults. To line up with the catapults, um, what you do is you place the actual line um, basically parallel or adjacent with your shoulder. And once it is, just go ahead and kick the rudder in that direction and you should be pretty lined up with it. Um, the way that the catapults are named is it goes from right to left. So this is catapult 3. Walk out of Paul 1 and 2 over there, and this is 3 and 4. So we're going to uh, go ahead and roll on catapult 3. Right. There we go. We're lined up nicely. Now, to hook up, we actually need to get this little hook down right here, right? So. This hook will go down, and it'll latch on the front side of that shuttle. That shuttle is what takes off top of the end. Right? So, we want to be first in front of that shuttle. So, for number three, catapult number three, our reference is getting our butt lined up with that seven, right? And that basically puts our hook in front of the shuttle. So, we'll see what I mean in a moment. Pull up and align the butt with the seven. If I put our hook down, we'll be in front of the shuttle, right? So now we're in the position, we're lining up with the catapult, and now we actually need to hook up with it. So to get our hook down right there, we need to kneel our nose by going to our nose strut under our emergency doors jettison, and we slish it to mule until our plane stops moving. And as you can see, that hook is down. Simply, to hook up to it now, just press the U button. The shuttle will connect to the hook, and you're all into position. 
we know we're hooked because not only do we move back, there's steam coming out of the catapults, and our jet blast deflector is up behind us, uh, and that basically just deflects the jet blast, the the jet blast upwards away from the crew that would be on the carrier. All right. So now we're ready to take off, but we are not set for takeoff. So to be set for takeoff, you put your wing sweep to auto. You put your flips foot. You put your flaps fully down. You set your trim to three degrees of trim. Three degrees of trim upwards. Two to three. All right. Make sure your mode, uh, your HUD is in takeoff mode. You're all set. Or your altitude is set. Everything is good. Now what you do is you just put your throttle to max uh, military power, or you put it to afterburn. Right. And then you just hit the catapult shoot button, which mine is set to my joystick. So I just hit catapult shoot. And you should move forward. You can launch off the end of the deck. You hit gears up. You hit flaps up. You go ahead and switch into cruise mode. And then you fly away. And that's what is the takeoff and landing tutorial. But I kept this kind of short because carrier landings really just come down to experience so if you just review over that sheet again and just watch my landing again uh, and you go ahead and do it yourself it'll come naturally and uh, you'll get the feel for it so that's the carrier landing and takeoff video